To outsiders, this quiet corner of England seems ordinary enough, picturesque, quaint even. But there are secrets here, some invisible danger, some hint of evil beneath the surface. Nothing remarkable, or so it seems, until Bill Ramsey tells his story. The story began uh, when I was nine years old. It was a very warm summer's evening. Suddenly the air went very cold. There was a terrible stench in the air, and I just flew into the most horrendous rage that uh, my mother and father came out to see what the hell was going on. And the fence post was two or three inches square. It was set into concrete in the ground. I pulled it out and smashed it on the floor till it broke. Uh, well, I don't think I could do that now. My mother and father just couldn't make out why their little nine-year-old boy suddenly started to act virtually like an animal in the garden. That was an isolated event. Bill Ramsey married, had kids, an ordinary chap by most accounts. But then the nightmares began and strange fits of violent animal behavior, violence he couldn't remember, explain, or control. For decades, it was his secret. But then one day, Bill Ramsey bit someone in public and that secret couldn't be kept. I was feeling all sorts of things. Um, I would be the laughing stock of the neighborhood. Then came eyewitness accounts. Ramsey attacked a nurse at South End Hospital. He ransacked the emergency room. He couldn't be sedated. I just had the feeling that ultimately I would kill somebody. Then one day, without reason or warning, Bill Ramsey attempted the murder of a police officer. His life became a tangle of doctors, police, psychiatrists, and reporters. I envisaged being in prison for the rest of my life or in a secure mental hospital the rest of my life for something I knew I would never be responsible for. The unassuming man was famous now and feared as the werewolf of South End on Sea. What was causing it? I, I was literally, it felt like just committing suicide. Ramsey's case intrigued demonologists Lorraine and Ed Warren. They have researched and documented 7,000 cases of the supernatural. I was driven. I mean, even I, Ed would say to me at some times, you're acting completely out of character for you. He said, why are you pursuing this to such an extent? <laughs> like I told Lorraine, I said, Lorraine, I'm not going to go before the public and start talking about a werewolf. I said, it's going to be interesting to go there, see what we can do to help this man, but that's about it. The Warrens went to England to investigate Ramsey's case. They wanted facts. Was Ramsey a common criminal? Was he mentally ill? Or was Ramsey really a werewolf possessed by the devil? They spoke with Inspector Tony Belford, who was there the night Ramsey attempted murder of a fellow officer. What I actually saw that night, um, I couldn't really understand what it was. All I knew that it was something that I'd never witnessed before. It was not natural behavior. The nightlife swirled around Bill Ramsey and he began to lose control. He picked up a prostitute and, without explanation, drove her to the police station. So I took the prostitute inside, leaving Sergeant Terry Fisher out in the yard with Ramsey. He had these mad, staring eyes and this maniacal expression. That's all I can describe it as. But the worst thing was what he was saying, and it was said in a very malevolent way. And I'll quote from the report I made shortly afterwards. He was saying, the devil is in me. When the devil is in me, I am strong. I'm going to kill you. I am strong, and you are going to die. Ramsey lunged for the sergeant's throat. Fisher, unarmed, responded with a powerful knee to the groin. He sort of went, <clears throat> and crouched, and then he shrugged it off again. He became stronger. And when I came out into the yard, I saw Terry Fisher on the floor, just over in this location, with Bill Ramsey sitting on top of him, with his hands around his throat. Then there were bobbies that came to their sergeant's aid and he threw them off, in their words, like they were matchsticks. Little voice back here said, Terence, you've come unstuck this time. And when you see the size of this ex-police officer, you'll say to yourself, what scared him so much? Why this one experience? Because he sees something that very few people ever see. It took five officers to subdue Ramsey and get him into a jail cell. When I say he snarled and he growled, it was a, the impression of his lips turning up and showing his teeth. And I can recollect actually saying at the time in the reports that I filed that he took on the appearance of a mad dog. Trapped in the cell, Ramsey tried to escape. His head, right arm, up to his shoulder, was outside. 
this hole. But it's difficult to actually um, visualize a head and an arm out there, but I can assure you, I saw it, five or six firemen saw it, doctor saw it, and I would suggest up to seven or eight policemen saw it, none of which could believe what was actually seen. Finally, Ramsey was heavily sedated, soaked with liquid soap, and squeezed back through the hole. Sergeant Fisher retired early in a state of shock. Inspector Belford was left to account for Ramsey's bizarre behavior. I submit this report for your information and to have recorded the fact that it is in my opinion that this man will, if not controlled, end up causing fatal or serious injury to some person. But no criminal charges were ever filed. Instead, Bill Ramsey was committed to a mental hospital. Everybody thought I had a mental problem. It just didn't seem right. But I had no other answer. I couldn't say, well, it's not a mental problem, so we, you do this normally then, do you? Does everybody, is this normal behavior? Of course it was, a, it was a, a mental problem. Where else could they send me? There was nowhere else. After 28 days of psychiatric tests, the mental hospital also released Bill Ramsey. What is left? The paranormal, the unknown. And that's where we come in. Warren's told me that uh, it wasn't a mental illness. I had no mental illness. Um, I was possessed, demonically possessed, with a warped spirit. Oh, no. oh I've heard it all. And he, he clo kind of closed the evening with, um, would you come to the USA and be exercised? Exercise? Come on! There's some absolute rubbish over giving me here. But maybe. I've been through all the other avenues around there. His private ordeal had become a public spectacle to be played out in rural Connecticut. It was here that the Warrens introduced Ramsey to Bishop McKenna. He needed to be exercised, you know, no question about that. I would think that being possessed by the devil is the is worst evil that could uh, uh, be, uh, befall anyone. I didn't know what to expect. And when you enter in a realm of the unknown, you're obviously very, very scared. The exorcism was performed in the church, in Latin. Ramsey was strapped into a chair. There were six bodyguards with stun guns to protect the priest. If the Lord permitted, the devil could easily uh, kill the exorcist. As I proceeded with the prayers, it didn't seem to be himself. It was just some other person were, were, were taking over him, uh, he himself seemed, seemed to go, almost go into a kind of a, of a daze. I remember him coming to me, at me with that stole, placing it on my head, and it's as if he'd hit me with a, a hammer almost, because I just did not know anything after that. It started from behind him, and the muscles in the back of the neck all began to enlarge, and the ears began to point, and he howled. Speak, devil. Be gone in the name of God. Uh, leave him alone. Go back to hell where he came from. Be gone. Then the hands clawed in such a manner that no human hand could claw like that. He had begun to make the signs of the cross on his forehead and on his breast, and then he would, uh, he would, he would violently react and slap his hand at me and then he snarled like a like an animal the lips rolled up the teeth protruded and he tried to fight how, how many, many of you are you ready, ready to come from what keeps you here you go on satan leave him alone when the devil did leave him uh he came to himself as i came out the exorcism you feel that you're a new person. The man was freed. The man was freed. I felt I wanted to kiss him, kiss Bishop McKenna, because what he'd done. I believe that I was ultimately possessed by the devil, yeah. Yeah. Bill Ramsey returned to England, home to his seaside village. There was no hint now of evil. He has not had a violent incident for three years.
And we also thank God continually because when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it not as a human word, but as it actually is, the word of God, which is indeed at work in you who believe. For you, brothers and sisters, became imitators of God's churches in Judea, which are in Christ Jesus. You suffered from your fellow citizens the same things those churches suffered from the Jews, who killed the Lord Jesus and the prophets and also drove us out. They displease God and are hostile to everyone in their effort to keep us from speaking to the Gentiles so that they may be saved. In this way, they always heap up their sins to the limit. The wrath of God has come upon them at last.